If you were a kid in the early 90s in Europe, just like me, you might have grown up with a subscription to Club Nintendo magazine. For those that don't know, Club Nintendo was the European counterpart of America's Nintendo Power. You didn't even have to pay for your Club Nintendo subscription back then. All you had to do was fill out the reply coupon that you got when you bought an NES or Game Boy and... BANG! The Club Nintendo magazine and club card landed in your mailbox. Congratulations, you are now an official member of Club Nintendo. The first magazine that all new subscribers got was the Club Nintendo Classic Issue. Needless to say, I was blown away as a kid. This first special issue showed me all of the AAA NES classic games. Super Mario Bros. Super Mario Bros. 2. The Legend of Zelda. Zelda 2. The Adventure of Link. Metroid. And the fun didn't stop there. This magazine was full of tips and tricks. It had game maps made out of screenshots and Mario and Luigi they tried to push the sales of Nintendo accessories with their advertisement comics. The first regular magazine that I got was the first issue of 1992. I was 10 years old back then and Nintendo was what we kids lived for. Nintendo was a household name and Club Nintendo magazine was an important part of our childhood. In this day and age the internet is king. If you're stuck in a game, you google for some cheats or check out a walkthrough on YouTube. If you want to know which hot new games are coming out for the Nintendo Switch, you can google that too. Hell, you can even pre-order those upcoming games. In 1992, Google wasn't an option, no. So your only source of information back then for upcoming new games and tips and tricks was Club Nintendo Magazine. Some of the tips that I used the most as a kid were for Super Mario Bros. 3 and Turtles 2 the arcade game. Club Nintendo also had an achiever section, Game Boy Top 5 and NES Top 10, just like its American cousin Nintendo Power. Only here they were just called Top 5, Top 10 and Highest Scores. Something that was exclusive for the Club Nintendo magazines here in Europe were the player profiles. Your name, favorite games, achievements and mugshot picture in Club Nintendo. How freaking awesome! Breezing through Club Nintendo magazines, it's amazing and nothing brings back more memories than that. Remember the Turtles 2 arcade game review? With that weird mix of illustrations. Or the launch of the Super Nintendo and Super Mario World and all those other 16-bit games. Man, I was so hyped! Do you guys remember that awkward Mario chessboard puzzle where you had to jump around like a horse? It was... Um, something else. Remember all the drawings and pictures? kids mailed to Club Nintendo or that awkward interview session with the Nintendo counselors. Issue number 6 of Club Nintendo that I got right here landed in my mailbox just before Christmas in 1992. There were a lot of great games in this issue. Street Fighter 2, Turtles in Time, SimCity, Zelda, A Link to the Past, and Super Mario Land 2, just to name a few. At this point in time, Club Nintendo was at its peak. 14 different language versions were being distributed across Europe. But the following year, something strange happened. Club Nintendo disappeared. I didn't receive a new magazine for months and I wasn't the only one that was not happy and confused about this situation. Nintendo received a lot of letters with complaints and questions. What was going on? Finally, after months of waiting and without warning, Club Nintendo Extra landed in my mailbox. That's right, Club Nintendo Extra. The magazine rebranded itself and that wasn't the only thing that had changed. 
Club Nintendo was smaller, thicker, had advertisements, interviews and more background stories. Oh, and one more important change? From now on you had to pay for your subscription. For 30 guilders, that's about 13 euros today, you would receive 8 Club Nintendo Extra magazines each year. Non-subscribers would still receive Club Nintendo news 4 times a year. In hindsight, this was the beginning of the end. Hashtag the downfall of Club Nintendo Extra. I only have a few Club Nintendo magazines in my collection. I refused to pay for a subscription back then and only bought a few magazines on rare occasions in the kiosk. I wasn't the only one that turned its back on CNA, Club Nintendo Extra. The number of subscribers dropped hard and fast, but stabilized over time. Don't get me wrong here, I loved Club Nintendo Extra and I still have a soft spot for it, but let's be honest here. The magazine made some improvements over time, but at its core it was nothing more than a sales brochure and I wasn't going to pay for that. The proper independent video game journalism came from competing video game magazines. So while Nintendo Power in America lasted until December 2012 and obtained a legendary status on the internet and YouTube, the complete opposite happened in Europe. Club Nintendo only lasted until 1997 and faded away in obscurity.